All right, guys, we're in Echo Park here to meet uh, Robert with All Star. We're hearing that Echo Park is a massive infestation of rats. As you can see, look at all of the shrubbery and trees. A lot going on. Trees over the roofs. That right there is an attracted to rodents. Hey guys. Hey, Robert. Man, hey, I'm so glad that you can make it, man. I really need your help today. What's How's going, it going on here? Good, man. Yeah. So what do we have? Well, I've been out here about four or five times. Just rack my brain. We've done a ton of work. Okay. Um, super frustrating. The homeowners really frustrated. We, we sealed everything up, and I can show you what we've done. Oh. They're ready to move into a hotel room. So until this is resolved. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And so, but you, but you have narrowed it down that they are coming from the sewer system. Yeah, I, I really, I really think they're coming from the sewer system. Okay. I mean, we've been over this so many times. So I need you guys to check out the sewer system. Okay. So me. camera and smoke test. Yep. For sure. Okay. Exactly. Let's, Why don't we, let's walk around and show us uh, exactly what you've done. Sure. Dave, you go get the camera and I'll walk with Robert. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Ken, so we've been here, you know, several times looking for different places where they're coming in. So everything's been done from, you know, these 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 pipes that go into the uh, attic space up there underneath the, the roof where the two roofs meet. I see all the crawl space. This is great. Yeah, okay. yeah that's expanded steel. That's really strong. You know, okay. those have been installed. Nice. Um, I mean, we, there's not a lot of attic space in, in a lot of the house. So you kind of narrow it down to like just above the bathroom in the hallway. Where else could they be? And Got that's it. where they're at. So, and that's okay. where all the plumbing is. Got it. Um, this is another area that where we put traps at. Um, we want to put traps in the attic and uh, underneath the house. Where are the traps? Uh, just, just past this uh, stem wall. One, two, three. They're set and bait for for anything that comes. Um, you know, down below. We're not getting any action down here. All the uh, activity has been focused in the attic. So I think that that break in the sewer line is going to be close to the attic. The noise is all around here and up here. Okay. Um, but there's the big, the four inch cast iron vent that goes all the way up. That's that's in this wall. Okay. And as as I'm up there, I can smell sewer okay. from up top. So her room is right next. This is the attic. So she's on the other side of the attic wall where okay. all the rats are. We've um, had 22 rats pulled out. How old is your daughter? Seven. And so they already, this is fixed, but they chewed through and pushed through this. And one night in the middle of the night, we heard a thud. Through here? Yeah. They pushed and pushed and chewed and chewed. And this thing fell off the wall and landed on the floor in the middle of the night with the rusty nails up. How did your daughter react? I'm it sure she was totally freaked out. Oh my God. I mean, she was six when that happened. Are you getting any odors like urine? Oh. Oh all the time the yo the odors are horrible we had to actually cover up the vent the intake with the ply with plywood can't even go into that room that's completely urine smoked and then there's a chronic smell of feces in the bathroom oh my gosh yeah. so you've been covering the vents with stuff like this oh yeah no all the vents have been covered yeah. we just wow. uncovered them so you could do the smoke test well shelly today's a big day what we're going to do is cap off the sewer main aggressively insert the the uv non-toxic smoke into your sewer system and anything that we see coming out we know that there's going to be a breach okay. the other thing we're going to do today is we're going to go underneath your house and we saw a section of your uh, cast iron pipe or abs pipe that we're going to put in a check valve so if they're coming in through the city main right we're going to put basically a door that doesn't allow them to come back into the uh, sewer system so we're going to okay. accomplish all that today. Do a big day okay. today I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. You got it. All right, let's get going. This little girl deserves a healthy house. Perfect. Well, guys, you can see how devastating this can be. Urine, odors, a lot of frustration to the point where you just want to move out of your home because it just doesn't stop. Here we are on the hunt to get to the bottom of this and give her a permanent solution. Let's go ahead and get started, guys. This is the main sewer line clean out. It's outside, it's a four inch. It's made of ABS, so this is where we're gonna access all of our camera work to get a visual perspective on what's going inside that sewer line. They make a colored camera and a black and white. Today we're using our colored camera so we can really identify and see inside that line really, really clear. Now when it comes to rodents and sewers, the reason why you want to run a camera to see if there's any nests in there. Sometimes we see them running back and forth. 
So you could see here there's roots growing in between the clay pipes joints. Okay, so here's another section. Uh, clay pipe, it's pretty common that clay pipe is more susceptible for roots to grow in. And the reason why is because back in the day, they just put them together without any sort of sealant. The roots are gonna find their way through those joints into the moisture feeding off the sewer. Now this really doesn't give us any clues when it comes to rodent infestation. This is just giving us an idea of what the overall sewer line uh, condition is like. So we uh, finished running the camera all the way down to the city main. Weren't any nests, there wasn't any activity. There was a lot of roots. A previous uh, plumber came out and I wasn't here for it, but they did the camera inspection and he said that he saw a rat's nest under there, rats jumping over the, the camera. They um, probably interpreted that because there's a big ball of roots. So okay. they probably interpret that as a nest. Oh, that's you know, a good point. Oh yeah, yeah. That so could they, be that's it. probably what they were thinking if she was describing the issue. Okay. So what we're gonna do is bring out our hydrojetter. We're gonna descale, get rid of all the roots. We're actually gonna do a foam uh, root killer in there as well. Okay. Roots aren't that aggressive, just long-term roots. So we're gonna go ahead and completely eradicate those right now. Nice. All right, guys, our hydrojetting truck just pulled up. Get ready to hydrojet and extract all those roots. This is our root rat here. This is gonna go down the line and uh, it's got some very, very sharp uh, precision, not blades because it's water, but the way in which it cuts and extracts the roots is amazing. <laughs> so one of us needs to go into the home, we never get used to it. So what we're gonna do is do our little paper, scissor rocks and whoever loses has to do the task. So here we go. Oh, boom, 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 see ya. God, I thought I had him. Before I go under, I wanted to go ahead and give you a visual of what we're gonna be installing. As water, toilet paper's flowing through, it lifts up this check valve to allow the flow of the sewage but then when the drain is not operating, it'll close. So from this perspective, if the rats are coming in, they're not gonna be able to get in. Now, one of the questions that we get often is, hey, can't the rat still chew through this? Yes, it's very rare, but it can happen. So a lot of times what you could do is put a piece of metal that you can glue here or some sort of flex seal like uh, this product right here that we like. We'll put a link down below. I think we've all seen the infomercial. Rats do not like this. So if you apply a little bit on the surface here, allow it to cure, it's a great way to prevent any future chewing. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do. Make sure there's nothing around me. Okay, we're good. So, this is the sewer line right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the sewer line and go ahead and put in a check valve. And uh, actually, while this pipe is cut, we're gonna go ahead and put our smoke right here so we can pump smoke into the hole. This is, uh, this pipe right here is the main drain. It's connected to everything. And eventually all of the drain pipes and vent pipes, they'll terminate to the roof area. All right, I'm gonna head up to the attic now. Guys, there's tons of rat feces up here in this attic. And I'm having a really difficult time getting onto that other side because it's so small and there's a huge wall that I can't get through. We may have to open up that bathroom ceiling. Okay. 
Hey, we uh, found a bunch of smoke coming out of the uh, the four inch line coming off the toilet. Ah, uh, okay. You saw it coming in? Yeah, attic and then the crawl space. Also that access panel in the hallway. I want to open up a small incision in behind the toilet so we can get to the break. You want to open that up? I mean, that's fine. Okay, you know, perfect. It. I'll keep you updated here, Robert. Okay, we'll see you in a few. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Over here, Shelly? Yeah. Here's where the chase is. Uh -huh. We're getting a bunch of smoke coming up into the attic and the crawl space. So Robert's on his way right now. So we're going to go ahead and open up a very small area. Sure. Put the in-wall camera and see exactly where the breach is. Okay. All that right. That sounds great. All right, guys, we opened up the wall. Check what we found here on the studs. There's rodent feces right there. I don't see any really evidence of this four inch be have a breach for the rodents to get in. So we're gonna have to do the smoke test once again, but we're gonna go from the rooftop so we can inject the smoke from the vent so we can concentrate just exactly on this pipe right here. Ooh. For the second time here, up through the vent. Now let's see if we can Go down to the bathroom here in a little bit and see what we can find. Hey, uh, Eric. Hold on, guys. If you see right there, there's a hole. Yep, got that. Now, I just found a broken vent pipe to the tub that's directly behind the toilet because I definitely saw that rodent infestation or feces right there on that stud. Chris, that was open, right? See the break right there? Oh, yeah. Another one guys, it gets so exciting when you can solve people's issues, especially with the frustration that Shally was sharing earlier. Yep. Hey, hey, if you like this video, please comment. We love all of that feedback. Make sure you subscribe and, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the next one. one.